everybody, I'm back again here with another video. Um, this time I'm going to be doing a Dollar Tree haul. Um, sorry if there's a bit of an echo, I just don't have a ton of stuff up in the room. As you can see, there's not really anything, there's not a whole lot in here. Um, so yeah, uh, this is probably be the first new video that will be going up in a while, because a lot of the other videos that have been going up have been stuff I filmed a while ago. So this is the first new video. Um, I have filmed some recently, but I just didn't like the quality, or I didn't like just some of the content, or there's problems, so... I might try to maybe salvage some of the content from those and put it in, like into um, like multiple, make multiple videos into one video just to kind of salvage some of the content because I've done probably three or four recent pickup videos and I just haven't got around haven't I hadn't got around to editing them and uploading them but once I went around to once I got around to doing it I just didn't really like the way they turned out so like I said I might try to edit it all into like one and just. So there's a ton of stuff uh, I haven't really talked about, which I don't know. I'll probably get to eventually. Um, but yeah, and my window's open right now just because it's really hot in here. I don't have an air conditioner in here yet, or I don't know if I will, because um, I'm moving soon. Well, soon, hopefully by like the end of the year, so it's not really soon at all. But yeah, um, enough rambling. Let's get into the Dollar Tree haul. So the first stack is actually from one Dollar Tree that I went to about a week ago. It actually, maybe it was less than a week ago, like three or four days ago actually just opened up I think this month or last well it's May so I think it opened up in April it's like five minutes from my apartment maybe less than that um, and then the second one is another one that I went to so yeah because I kept seeing people posting Dollar Tree hauls and I'm like um, the one because there's another Dollar Tree by where I work which is like in the opposite direction and um, it was still the same Blu-rays and DVDs there what they just what they've had left the past like month or two or how, since they restocked it I didn't really see anything new, but I stopped at the one, and I seen a few new things, the one by my house, and then the other one, which is a little bit farther down from my house, but I was going on that way anyways. So yeah, I've already been rambling for like three minutes, I think, so let's just get into it. Um, I'll be doing the DVDs for each stack first, so I'll show you what I picked up at the first Dollar Tree. Um, and again, I'm going to be going, I haven't said this actually, but I will be going through these fairly quickly, just because I don't really know much about them, so I don't really have much to say. Um, I try, the first... Dollar Tree, I got a lot more DVDs than what I, I really wanted to because I'm trying to kind of stay away from buying DVDs. But uh, yeah, I just decided to pick them up. They're a dollar. It's kind of hard to pass them up, um, especially when they have slip covers. So the first one I picked up is a John Woo film, The Killer, starring Chow Young Fat. I like Chow Young Fat. Um, I've seen him in, what was it, The Replacement Killers, I think. I really liked him in that. Don't know what else I've seen him in, but I uh, figured I'd give this a shot. And it's got a nice slip cover on it. So there's that one. And then I also picked up All the Money in the World. It's the DVD plus digital. So for a buck, I mean, there's that one. And I got Blindsided, which it was, uh, I wanted it because I actually been wanting to see this. But it was the last copy they had of it, and it's, um, yeah. So I'm a little annoyed about that, but I'm sure I can find a replacement case pretty easy. Sorry if there's a glare too, I apologize for that. Um, and then I also picked up Battle Creek, which uh, I've just seen Bill Skarsgård's in it. I don't really know much about it, but I uh, decided to give it a shot. So Battle Creek, don't know too much about that. Um, the Piper, this actually looks kind of bad, but I'm kind of a fan of like really bad, cheesy B-horror movies. Um, so there's a difference between like B horror movies you know that they're B horror movies and horror movies that are clearly just bad and they're tr you know you know you get what I'm trying to say. So yeah, the Piper. Um, I also picked up uh, Freedom Fighters: The Ray. I've, anytime I see these DC animated movies, there I try to pick them up. Um, I have a fair amount of them on Blu-ray and DVD. Um, just from not even just from Dollar Tree, just from around. Um, I will get around to watching these one day. I want to start with, which I've watched a couple episodes, but I want to restart and try to get through it all. The Batman the animated series, like that whole timeline with the Batman show, Superman show, all those like DC animated movies. I want to watch them all in order. So that's why I haven't really watched any of these random ones yet. The only random one I watched was Batman The Dark Knight Returns, just because I heard so much good stuff about it and I, just, I was just really interested in watching it. So now we have the uh, Blu-rays, which I only picked up two from that location, which is Master. No idea what this is. I don't even know if this is in English, but yeah, master. 
And the last one is, which I think, or I know I own this on DVD, but I wasn't sure if I owned it on Blu-ray. I actually might already own this, so if I do, I will get rid of it. Which is Doctor Who Deep Breath, which is, I think, the eighth Doctor's first episode. I'm a big fan of Doctor Who. Last few seasons have been, uh, like, season 11 and 12 have been, they've been alright. Season 11 was probably my least favorite, but I still enjoyed it for the most part. Season 12 was a step up, but still probably, like, you know, towards the bottom. If I was to do like a ranking of the seasons. So yeah, Deep Breath. Which I'm not a huge fan because I think this is, yeah, this is one of the American releases. Um, I'm not sure if this one has, I know a lot of the American releases of Doctor Who, the frame rate's really wonky or something. So I try to get the British releases of them, but what are you going to do? It was a buck. Um, so next up we have this second stack here. So this I got, I actually just bought all these today. Like, I don't know, hour or two ago. Sorry, I'm, my nose is a little stuffed up. So let's get into it. So the first one we have is, and this is from the second Dollar Tree, Future World, which I picked up way less DVDs from this one. Um, and it's James Franco, Lucy Liu, and Mila uh, Jovakovich. Z Jova, I don't know how to say that. Um, which I like all three of them. And oddly enough, I don't think <laughs> I think all three of them kind of I don't think I've ever really seen any of them in like a fantastic movie. But I usually like them and everything I see them in. Just the movie around them is not the greatest. I don't know, James Franco's been in a, f a few good movies. Like he was in Spider-Man and stuff. But like Lucy Liu. Um, I liked her in Designated Survivor, actually. I don't know if anyone's seen that. I feel like that's an underrated show with Kiefer Sutherland. And then Mila Jovakovich. I haven't seen her in a ton of stuff, but... Which, actually, come to think of it, The Fifth Element. I haven't seen that in years, but I, I remember that being pretty good. So, I think I just negate everything I just said then. <laughs> Uh, ben 10 out to launch. I used to be a big fan, like I still am, a big fan of the old Ben 10 show, the original, and then also Ben 10, I think it's Alien Force, like the one where he's older. Um, but I never got into the new one. I've never tried watching it, mainly because, you know, by the, by the time that came out, I was, um, like, in my 20s, so just had a lot of other stuff I had to watch before I got around to this. Um... I haven't heard great things. What's well, I've heard good things about the story, just a lot of people are off put by the animation, but I still want to give it a shot, so I bought this. And judging by the episode titles, it sounds like this is like the first episode, so I'm not 100% sure on that. Oh, never mind. Season 2, Part 1. I didn't even see that. So yeah. Season 2, Part 1. But it's got like, I don't know, like 20 episodes on here, so... Um, another one, Digimon Volume 4, which this is the first 21 episodes of Season 2, which uh, I... I believe I've seen a bunch of this as a kid. I can't really remember. It's not one of those ones I watched a lot. But I've always wanted to go back and watch all the Digimon shows and movies. Um, I have a lot of stuff on my my backlog. Uh, so yeah, and I need to, so yeah, that's why I bought that. Uh, I don't know how easy it is to get the seasons either on DVD or on streaming, I'm not sure, so. But for a buck, I picked it up. This is another one. I don't usually buy these because they're usually all terrible. But I got the Shadows Collection, it includes eight movies. It's one of these movies with packs with like eight movies on it. They're usually all terrible, terrible. But I've seen one has Haley Duff in it, which kind of interests me. I don't think I've seen her in a movie. And then I think there's another one. I don't see it now. I thought maybe it was a different one I was looking at. But uh, I don't know. Just some of the descriptions kind of interested me. So they're probably all really bad. But hey, I'm out of buck if I don't like any of them. Next up is I remember hearing a lot about this when it was coming out. Uh, the 1517 to Paris. Directed by Clint Eastwood, yeah, Clint Eastwood. Did he direct it or just produced and directed by Clint Eastwood? So yeah, I've always wanted to give it a shot. I didn't hear great things about it when it was coming out, but like I said, for a buck, I mean, I'll give it a shot. And I feel like this is not really a movie you need on Blu-ray anyways. It's just, I don't feel like there's a ton of like, I don't know. Yeah, moving on, another, another, Anthem. Anthem of a Teenage Prophet, Blu-ray, DVD and digital copy. Don't know too much about this, but it's got uh, Cameron Monaghan in it, Peyton List, Juliet Lewis. I feel like I've heard of all those people, but I can't really place them. But I'm a little more lenient when I buy Blu-rays, just because they're Blu-rays. Um, Ar Ardenez Fury, probably butchering that. Some kind of war movie. The reason I bought it on the back, it says, uh, A harrowing tale of American heroism in the tradition of Platoon and Saving Private Ryan. So at first, when I first seen it, I thought it was some kind of like documentary or one of those like really cheap, weird war movies but which it still could be because you know you know sometimes quotes on movies aren't true at all but um 
but um, I think it's an actual like proper movie. So, and I don't know if it's like an older movie or a newer movie. I can't tell. Um, original wide screen presentation, 1944 version. Okay, so this is wait, but there's a gag reel on here. Oh, 1944 version, because I think it's the black and white version. Okay. Don't want to get too caught up on this. I'll find out when I watch it. <laughs> Next is Warning Shot, which I've seen this there for a while, but I decided to finally pick it up. Mainly because I don't think I've seen, the, seen it with the slipcover before, but it comes, comes with the slipcover this time. Like I said, don't really know much about it. But I've seen David Spade's in it, which I don't think I've seen David Spade in it, like a serious movie like this. So that might be interesting. Um, then we have High Voltage, and I originally um, w was iffy on picking this up because I just seen the DVD, but then as soon as I seen the Blu-ray, I'm like, all right, I'll pick it up because it's a Blu-ray with the slipcover. I like David Arquette, um, and I like Luke Wilson, so don't know anything about it. Uh, Traded, the Trace Atkins, Michael Pear, and Chris Christopherson. We're gonna give it a shot. I haven't really, I don't really watch too many westerns, but, but yeah, figured I'd give it a shot. Red vs. Blue season 11. I've never seen Red vs. Blue, but I feel like for a dollar, that's probably a good deal. I'm not sure. I might get into it at some point because I do watch Ruby and it's made by the same people, although Ruby's kind of an original program. This is more based on, I don't know if it's not necessarily based on, but they, don't they use like the actual game engine? I'm not sure. Um, another one, Amira and Sam, Blu-ray and digital HD. I really like these, like, clear Blu-ray Blu cases. Um, so, yeah. Don't know anything about it. American Dresser Blu-ray and DVD. Don't really know anything about this either, but I do like Tom Berenger. Uh, anybody else in here? Keith David I like. Uh, Bruce Dern. Sounds really familiar, but I can't place him. So yeah, don't really know really what that's about either. Like I said, a lot of these I just picked up. Um, Abduction, Scott Atkins and some other people. Um, I seen the DVD with the slipcover, the Blu-ray did not have the slipcover. I didn't see any of the Blu-rays with the slipcover, but that's okay. So yeah, Abduction. So that is actually gonna do it for the Dollar Tree haul. Um, sorry I didn't really say much about any of them, it's just because I don't know much about any of them. Here, let me just kind of come in a little bit here. Um, so yeah, if you enjoyed this video, if you want me, want me to post more hauls like this, let me know. I'm gonna try to keep doing, right after this, I'm gonna film a recent pickups video. Um, I'm gonna try to do those somewhat regularly now, um, although I'm kind of trying to stop buying a ton of stuff, which, I mean, I just bought a ton of stuff, but hey. Uh, so yeah, anyways, I don't want to ramble on too much. Uh, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys in my next video.